Good morning, everyone. It's Saturday, June 2nd. I'm Barry Finn. Welcome along to you. And it's been a while since we brought a Saturday rap to you. And joining me in the com box, it's good morning to Joe Murphy. Hey, Barry. Hey, viewers out there. Thanks very much for joining us today. Well, oh, the, the topic we always bring up on the show is the emergency number triple zero. Please do not ring that number unless you have an emergency. Here's my upside for this message. Yeah, thanks, Barry. It's a good point you bring up. Um, it's important that we do leave those that number alone for... Um, emergencies that are considered time critical, life-threatening situations. Um, so we reserve that number just for people in emergencies. And please don't tell them something that hasn't happened because they will not be impressed. Triple O have a tracking device that will track down your number. They will ring you. Here's my upside. That's right, Barry. And recently you received a letter where they agreed with you on this matter that it takes up a lot of their time uh, and a lot of time is wasted on those fake calls. So please don't bring that number and be a stupid fool and put someone's life at risk. Here's my offside and now. That's right, Barry, you've said it all. It does risk people's lives. It's very important that you're mindful that when you use a service, you're taking it away from someone who is, an experience, uh, is experiencing an emergency. So if you are caught bringing that number when you don't really need to, it's a slap on the wrist, or you stand up in front of a judge, and you could get into serious trouble. Maybe you could be banned from ringing that number in the future. Here's my upside for this message. Yeah, that's right, Barry. There are like it's quite serious penalties for that sort of um, behaviour. Uh, it is necessary though, uh, because it is quite a serious, um, quite a serious uh, thing to to take away someone's right to um, have services during their emergency. And um, a lot of people need to learn the hard way, unfortunately, that it's not, it's not just a joke, uh, that quite serious things can happen. And on the subject of triple zero, they will be stretched to the limit with all this rain that we're having with car accidents, so please be mindful of the ambulance service, the fire brigade and the police. Here's my offside and now. Yeah, that's right, Barry. We, we need to be mindful and especially, uh, well, during any time of year, I think it can be said that um, they're experiencing uh, quite a high proportion of calls. So it is important that you are mindful of those services. Uh, if you do see them out and about, make sure that you consider the fact that they're probably working or seen to an emergency. Well, it's coming up to the long weekend viewers, uh, and the tips that my upsider and I would like to give to you this morning is please be careful on those roads going in and out of Sydney. There will be traffic delays on the Friday afternoon, the 8th of June. So if you are going away, please be careful. And double the merit points start as well next week. Here's my upside and now. Yeah, thanks, Barry. Um, it's important that you are considerate of those other people that are on the road during the long weekend. Um, as Barry said, um, it is double demerits during this time, which means that if you're just, you know, simply speeding, 
um, instead of losing three points, you could lose six, which is half of your license. And um, please don't overtake any turning vehicles such as the bus. Here's my offsider. Yeah, that's right, Barry, that they do cross over into different lanes. So if you are uh, overtaking a bus, make sure that you're going along the straight road and that you give the bus plenty of room. And also, have a good night's sleep before you head off on your long journey. Don't do it all in one go, because that's how fatal accidents do occur when these messages are men mentioned. Here's my offside now. Yeah, good point, Barry. And if you can share the drive with another person, take it in turns of just about an hour each long. Um, stop for breaks, stretch your legs, have some food, drink lots of water, and make sure that you're feeling fresh for the drive. And also, don't use your mobile phone while driving either because that's how fatal crashes happen too. Here's my offside for this important message right now. Yeah, that's right, Barry. You're dividing your attention and a lot of the time when you're using your phone, you aren't looking at what you're doing. You're just paying attention to your phone. So it's an enormous distraction and causes a lot of accidents. And if it's training heavily, wait till it eases off because visibility will be poor and you won't be able to see out of your windscreen. So here's my offsider for the last bit of the story before we wrap up today's show. Yeah, that's right, Barry. If it is torrential rain outside, just hold off. It probably won't last that long. You can just wait until the rain eases off a bit and then drive wherever you need to go. And speaking of weather, well, it's cloudy and overcast. We might get some rain and a top temperature of 19 degrees today and tomorrow much the same in 19 and maybe some showers for the start of the week and the last thing on today's show is staying away from people. If you are sick, here's my offside. Yeah, that's right, Barry. If you do have the unfortunate luck to, um, to fall ill, it is important that you're mindful that a lot of other people don't want to get sick. Most people you would know, I imagine. Um, so do try and stay away from them. Be considerate that you um, could spread those germs. Um, and make somebody else sick. If you absolutely have to be in contact with them, um, you maybe use something to cover up your mouth. Like so, a face mask? Yeah, like a face mask. Or cough when you cover your mouth and don't use the same tissue, throw it in the bin, use fresh ones. Yep. And call in if you are sick as well because that way, if you give the management plenty of time, they will be able to cover your shifts in plenty of time. Now, how many hours would you give management if you were sick? Well, Barry, it, um, yeah, I think management will be able to find a replacement uh, depending on which shift it is, but with about 10 hours notice, um, sometimes even five hours notice, they are able to replace you. It's difficult if you're doing the morning shift because obviously that means that they find out in the middle of the night. Um, but you do try, it's important that you try to give as much notice as you can. So in ending today's program, just reminding you, leave Triple Zero alone and go to the medical centre or your pharmacy to get some off-over-the-counter medicine. Don't be a fool and waste 
the ambulance time. And here's Joe, my offside, and with that closing message. That's right, Barry. Um, obviously, it's important to consider other alternatives instead of calling the emergency contact straight away. Things like calling the police directly, um, a um, visiting doctor, or, as Barry said, pharmacy. And the number for police assistance in a non-emergency is one three one triple four. They will be able to assist you there, but please do not, we repeat, do not call an ambulance if you haven't got an emergency, because once again, it is being disrespectful. Here is my offside at now with another one of these closing messages. Yeah, that's right, Barry. Important that you do use common sense. Um, it's fine to have a joke sometimes, but when you're messing with people's lives, um, it's definitely not funny uh, to anyone. And that is all we've got time for on this Saturday, June the 2nd. Coming up, we have the food meeting with my offside and Joe, and here he is to tell you about it. That's right, Barry, thanks. That's where we get everyone together and we have a conversation about the meals we'll be having in the upcoming week. Um, whoever attends the meeting uh, gets a say for what we have. So And yeah. our shopping comes directly from Coles. Here's my offside to tell you about that. Yeah, that's right. We do get Coles delivery here. So um, it means that, the, oh, means that the clients don't need to go out and do the shop. Uh, we can order things in bulk uh, and that way save a bit of money as well. And our program is proudly sponsored by Coles. Thank you so much, Coles, for your services and we really do appreciate the support and we thank you for what you have done for us over the years and and thank you to wheelchair accessible taxis one three cabs will get you there that that's another one of our sponsors for our program and Thank you for the pleasure of your company. And now it is time to go. I'm just reminding you that it is the Queen's birthday next weekend. So do take care. And, and offside, and thank you for the pleasure of your company. And here he is to say farewell. Yeah, it's been a pleasure to join everyone out out there watching and, and yourself, Barry. So thanks very much for having me. And it is time to go and um, thank you for the pleasure of your company on this Saturday and we'll join you next time around. Stay around now for the food meeting. And here's Joe to farewell you viewers now. Farewell, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. And reach for the stars and, and keep that dial right where it is because we've got shows coming, coming up and Joe, it was a, nearly a year that you announced that you were leaving and my, hasn't the time gone quick? Sure has, Barry, that's right. Um, I left to go on a bit of a travel and I've been back now for about four months. And that's it, everybody. You take care, have a pleasant Saturday and we'll see you again on Monday for another.